Hello, welcome back to Excelsior. So, we are in Davenhoven. Uh, a few things for future proceedings. I have resolved that if I don't have a clue what to do, and either through uh, self-inflicted clueless cluelessness or if the game again decides to not tell me anything, um, that I'm going to look stuff up. But only in these cases. I won't look up riddle solutions and so on, but uh, stuff like that. Like stuff where to go, because uh, yeah, that is just in the interest of my sanity and also this let's play, because you definitely don't want to watch me running around like a headless chicken for episodes on end. And that is kind of even compounded by the fact that overland travel is kind of tedious in this game and also yeah, we have kind of, like, there is, we've basically finished off uh, the experience progression so far. I mean, we can still level up, but um, I don't know if that actually benefits us a lot or not. So, um, yeah, really, there's nothing to be gained from that. So, um, yeah, that's just what, I, what I'm going to do. But for now, let's keep exploring Devonhoven because uh, what we need to do is we need to find the glass blower. And there's also some, if I remember correctly, we got some hints for some good items that uh, might be in this dungeon. So, yeah, let's see. Dungeon Devonhoven. I always like that name. Devenhoven. It's a, it's a good name for a dungeon. If I were if I were to build a dungeon, I would I would name it something like that, I guess. So uh, let's just explore this. Okay, there's some stuff here. Um, we kind of need to. Oh, what was uh, unlock? Open the door. Pick a lock, of course. P. That makes a lot of sense. Um, so let's see if. What do we have in our inventory? We have a bunch of stuff. Chainmail, the almanac, bandit mail. We have a clock, we have a shovel, we have the skull, and we have the saturnium rock. Okay. Well. So, um, yeah, maybe let's take a look at the stuff that we can find here. Just so... I, I think there are some, like, really good items in the game that are... Um, yeah, like unique items, so on. There was some sort of blade in this, I think someone said. And uh, yeah, so let's let's just l take a look at what we can find here. And uh, yeah, what do we have here? Let's just greaves or handless shield. So we don't need any of those. We already have that. There's some stuff here. Okay, uh, there's a sign, and there's some sort of crossbow. Unlocked, opened, attack. Let's inspect that shield. DSC nearby. DSC, okay. Inspect. You find a secret door. Dual shot crossbow. Okay, that is actually something that we haven't seen before. Um, ba -ba -ba. Enter you with a fire catapult, open a radio weapon. Dual shot crossbow. Okay, how do you shoot? Or is it just attack? Yes, it is. Okay, so that's actually... Might actually be a good... Uh, that might actually be a good... Ranged weapon. Let's see how much damage it does. Yeah, that's alright, actually. That's alright. I don't know if I'm... Yeah, good. But I'm going to ready the speed blades again. So that was about a hundred damage. So let's see how much we do with the speed blades. Yeah, we do lots more damage with that. But if we need to do, um, if we need to do some like range stuff, that thing might actually be kind of useful. So how about we keep that for now? I think we are still all right with inventory space. Uh, I think one more. I might actually drop all these bandit mails and so on. We have too much stuff that we are lugging around. I don't even know if we need the 
if we need the the shovel and all this kind of stuff. Maybe we do at some point. Let's see. Check this golem. But yeah, let's explore this dungeon. That is just a regular as cave dungeon floor. What's going on here? I'm so glad that we don't have to worry about uh, all that nonsense with um, with light and so on. It's kind of weird for the game to have a mechanic like that and make it obsolete so quickly. But uh, I'm 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 not complaining about that. Okay, there are the stairs down. Before we do that, let's just uh, take a look around here and see if there's anything. Okay, there's something. Okay, there is indeed something. Let's take a look. Inspect. The forge, okay. Interesting. Um, so maybe let's talk, oops, talk to this person. What was talking? Talk, T, makes sense. Oh, no, so she's apparently in the forge. Alexis, skilled glassblower, says the woman, eyeing you carefully. You say you need a spun diamond goblet? I can make such an item. Bring me some fine sand from the southern tip of the sandbar near Farboro, okay? And I, in the meantime, will prepare my forge. All right, okay. Um, so we're going to do that, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep exploring this dungeon for the time being. Um, just maybe, I don't know. So oftentimes there's stuff in the dungeons that uh, you need later on, as we have seen, like the chemist or this, or this person, Alexis. So maybe, um, maybe we need to... Maybe it's a good idea to keep exploring, that's what I'm saying. So let's climb down and see if we can find some more stuff. Maybe that makes sense, right? Right. Oh dear, there's something, I don't know what you are. It's gargoyle. Okay, well. Not a very dangerous foe, as most enemies by this time. Oh, there is indeed some stuff. Let's open this. Who are you? Greetings, says the wizard with a sneer. I'm Feathers. Do you have any business? Okay, let's um, let's make some notes. One moment. Notepad. There we are. F Feathers. Davenhoven, third floor. Wizard. In case we ever need him, we know where he is now. If I don't lose my notes again, I need to be more diligent about that. Um, what do we have here? Um, white potion and... Oh, backpack is already full, yeah. Use... a oh, white potion, why not? Nothing happens. I don't know what, the, what, what a white potion is for, but... Uh, well, there's also something behind that wall. It seems to be a spell, so that is interesting. Um, how can you drop stuff, D? Yeah, that makes all the sense. Let's drop this. Let's drop the chain mail. Let's drop the chain mail. And uh, what is this? A magic wand? Use the magic wand. Ready to use. Oh, um, let's ready the magic wand. I don't even... Oh, we can't ready the magic wand. Okay, well... Uh, I think our class is not, uh, oops, yeah, there it is. Our class is not uh, fit to use magic wands. So now we have a scroll. Ready weapon, no. What was read? I think it's just use. Yeah, use that scroll. DF spell, okay. What is the DF spell? DF, 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 DF. It's not here. Devil's Fury, okay. Let's try that. Okay, we don't have enough spell points. It seems to be a um, dark alignment thing, so 
like a, an evil alignment thing. So uh, yeah, I think I'm also going to drop that magic wand. Let's drop it in the house of this guy so that we, in case it is an item, I think it's not an item that we need, but uh, just in case that we can find it again. And it's red, so we couldn't use it. That makes all the sense. Okay, there's some stuff here. Lightning wand. Thought helm or lightning wand. Interesting. I think thought helm is probably something for... Uh, yeah. yeah, we can't ready that. Let's drop the lightning wand. Also looks interesting. Could be... Could be good if you are a... Uh, I don't think I've seen a lightning wand before, so... Could be good if you are a magic user. Since I'm not a magic user, um, I'm not gonna bother with that. Okay, now we got Devil's Fury. We got whatever. So, how about we leave again? I think this is this is a very small floor, dungeon floor. So I think we are good for now. Let's just leave this dungeon now. And there weren't any any more stairs down. So Favis is on level 3, and that's it for Devonhoven. I think we have explored all of this. So that's alright. So where were the stairs up? I've already forgotten. I'm a... Dimrod. Okay, let's see. Oh yeah, there they are. Let's go here. And, uh, yeah, let's see that we can leave this sordid place. I think we need to go back again anyways, because uh, we need to bring the sand to, um, the sand to Alexis, I guess. So, we need to go to Farborough now. Uh, da -da -da -da, auto save, yes. Yeah, we need to go to Farborough, so let's do that. I'm gonna take a quick peek at my map here. Once we are out of this. Where was the entrance? Oh dear me. Oh dear me. It can only be a matter of hours. Hmm. Maze dungeons, always fun. And there's a roguelike called Lauren. It's an early roguelike from the mid 80s, one of the first sort of roguelikes after Rogue, I, I'd say. Together with Hack and Mike's Adventure Game and so on. And what they did, they actually kind of replaced the rogue style room corridor dungeon thing with, uh, with mazes. Oh, no, that would be a good place to use the, the crossbow, but, uh, well, it's easier to just go ahead and brute force it. Okay. I totally forgot where the entrance was. God help me. Yeah, they replaced the the corridor. There it is, the corridor style of dungeons with corridor room style of dungeons with um with a maze layout, basically. And uh, that is okay. Where was the ship? Let's search stuff again. That's what we always do. Okay, where did we where did we put the ship? Jesus, I think it was over to the left here right somewhere around here yes there it is okay wait wait let's board the ship and let's disembark so let's take a look at the map i'm going to do this thing where i show you and we are farborough is do you see that no you don't see that the mouse cursor Fabaro is down here to the south. It's this little island archipelago thing. It's not an archipelago, but uh, these li little this little group of islands. That's Fabaro. So are we going to. Get, I think we have sailed so much around the around the east side of um, of Lysandia. I think what we're going to do is oh Jesus, let's 
to get this right again. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to sail around the left side, the west side, just so that uh, we don't lose our minds. Fuck you. Okay. So what does actually our... Okay, so we could actually advance a level again if we so desired, but um, hmm. I don't actually know if I, I do want that or don't I want that. I mean, that will actually again mean stronger enemies on the world map. I wonder like where the end is, like what the strongest enemy you can encounter on the world map is. That's food. Let's pick up the food. All right, let's keep trucking. So where, what is that actually? Is it the Infernal Mountains? No, it's the Forgotten Pits. Oh yeah, we need to go way south again. Okay. Constant spawning of enemies is a little much. But, I mean, we have no problems in dealing with all that stuff. But, uh... It really becomes a little... Mind-numbing. What to say, so where the fuck are we? We're probably... Hmm. Let's go east. Where the fuck are we? Okay. Somewhere. I totally lost my bearings. What town is that? I don't know. Let's, uh, let's... F oh, that might be... Jesus, I totally lost my bearings. Oh, this is embarrassing. So what is this? Ah, well, let's follow this. Oh. Sorry, I need to take a look at what this is. This is hollow. Okay. Um, where is hollow? Hollow is up there. Okay. Well, I'm going to take a look. Hollow is north of the Black Sky Pass and south of Draxon. Okay. Well, good stuff. Let's board the ship and let's continue. Fuck you, Archer. No, oh, no, this is... Oh, fuck off. Fuck off! Like those ranged enemies on the world map, that really... That really, really, really... That is really annoying. Because whenever they are shooting, you can't move as long as the projectile is in the air. So um, you have to kind of always wait that out, and it really slows you down in travel. Not a fan of that. Just okay. All right. We're getting there, we're getting there. Maybe having the shovel is actually good for... Uh, I mean, we need to get sand. We could be... Could be a good idea to bring a shovel, right? So... Hmm. Maybe we are actually prepared for the stuff that we need to do for once. And what the good thing is, after we get the sand, we probably need to go right back. Yep. Ah, white dragons. Always white dragons. Everywhere. So where are we? We're probably around the... Okay, this is now... This is the sand bank. 
south of Farboro. I think that was it. Isn't that the right thing here? I mean, this looks like a bunch of sand. I think this is Farboro up there. So um, maybe we need to use a shovel. We find nothing. What do we actually need to do? Use shovel. You dig up some sand. Okay, that's actually it. Pile of sand! Hey, fantastic! Now we got a pile of sand. Couldn't have gotten that from anywhere else. So let's board that. <laughs> oh man. This is like Fetch Quest the game. Never seen a game that is... Yeah, this is FedEx, basically. FedEx the game. So let's sail around again. The whole world. Okay, and that is this one dungeon with the riddle sign that we need to tell something. Still don't know what that is. Okay, 20 minutes already, so I need to stop this video soon. I think um, I will stop this once we are back to Devonhoven. And uh, in the next episode, we're going to give Alexis the, the sand and uh, be fine. Be done with it. Let's just quickly get to Devonhoven. Okay. I've kind of, like, over the course of playing this game, I've kind of very much cooled or cooled my uh, enthusiasm for it. So I was... Like in the beginning I thought, yeah, this is actually kind of an alright game, kind of an interesting exploring Ultima thing. But it has worn off its welcome. It's kind of turned into endless fetch questing. And, uh, yeah, no, mm -hmm. I don't know. It's still, it's still pretty charming. I like the way this looks and, uh, and so on. But, uh, this might be a game that's just too long for its own good. I mean, an RPG can be long, don't get me wrong, but, uh... So where is Devonhoven? Oh, no, let's... this is not the best idea. Let's board west of the mountain range again. Autosave, good. Disembark. But I'm determined to play through this game. I won't give up on it. That's for sure. Even if if it takes me, like... I don't know how much time this takes me. This takes me a lot of time, actually. I don't actually know what... I need to look at when I started doing the let's play of this. Check out the timestamp of the first video. It's probably some time ago. But well, I kind of locked myself in, didn't I? So, let's enter Devonhoven. Stairs down were south of this somewhere, I think. Let's go down. And stay down. No, we won't stay down. We will come back up, I guess. Because I'm pretty sure that after we talk to Mrs. Glassblower, we will actually have to... We will actually have to... Um, I forgot again where the stairs were. <coughs> oh yeah, that was the crossbow thing. We'll actually have to go back up again. And uh, go somewhere else, I guess. FedEx something else. Shit, I don't even... Jesus. My brain is just a... Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, now. Also, I made a wrong note, because I think it's level 4. It's the fourth floor where Feathers was. Okay, so, we need to go east, I think, to find the glass blower. Yes, there she is. Hello. 
talk to her. I'm Alexis. Yes. Um, with the sand that you have with you, I can make such an item. Tw uh, 250 gold. That's all right. Shall I proceed? Yes, you shall proceed. And admires it. It's a very well. It's a. It is a well kept secret. But this sand is rich with minute, almost invisible diamonds. I will return. She withdraws into her forge, and after a while returns holding a delicate object. Here's the goblet, a beautiful object. It is not, is it not? Exercise caution, it is still warm from the forge. Okay, now we have the sand, and, um, wasn't there, I think there was, I remember something, there was something about liquid light being, what was it? Was it the Forgotten Pits? I think so. Um, oh, I have like a dim recollection about liquid light being in some dungeon. Is that maybe it that we need to fill into this? I don't even know. Let's um, see. Is that actually... I mean, they could just put this into the special items, right? But... Um... Hmm. Now that we have the goblet, what was it with the? Oh God, I totally lost track of the of the plot, quote unquote. Why were we at the chemist at the chemist again? And what did we find out? I, I mean, the chemist sent us to the glass blower, but what was it about the about the the ingredients? What did they What did they give us? Maybe we need to go back to the ch chemist. I don't know. I need to check the video again and uh, see what's going on and in the next episode we're going to do the right thing i guess so um yeah thank you for watching and see you again next time bye bye